Okay, it's time to work with cones. As you can see, cones have three major parts. They have a radius, which comes from the circle or the base. They have a true height, the H, which is from the tip of the cone to the center of the circle. And they have a piece called the slant height, which we label with a lowercase cursive L. That's the height along the side of the cone on its lateral face. Key formulas that we need to know for the cone are that lateral area is equal to pi RL, surface area is the lateral area plus one area of the base, because the base is a circle, that's pi R squared. Volume is one-third big B H, and again the big B is pi R squared, so it's one-third pi R squared H. And we need to remember the Pythagorean theorem. Remember that the true height and the radius create the legs of the right triangle inside the cone, so h squared plus r squared will be equal to l squared. <coughs> Let's work with a cone that has a height of 4 feet and a radius of 3 feet. Begin with lateral area. Lateral area is pi r l. I don't know the l, so I need to plug in my given information into the Pythagorean theorem to solve for L. 4 squared plus 3 squared is L squared, so 16 plus 9 is L squared. 16 and 9 make 25, so 25 is equal to L squared. I get rid of the square by doing the square root. The square root of 25 is 5, so the slant height for this particular cone is 5 feet. Now I have the information I need to plug in for lateral area. The lateral area will now be pi times 3 times 5, and in simplest pi form, that's 15 pi feet squared. Remember the label is squared because it's an area. Now let's do the surface area. Surface area will be that lateral area that we just found, 15 pi plus pi r squared, the area of the base. The radius again is 3, 3 squared is 9, so now I have 15 pi plus 9 pi. Those both have pi. We can add them together. So our final total surface area is 24 pi feet squared. Again, it's squared because it's an area. Lastly, let's find the volume. The volume formula is one-third pi r squared, h. Plug in all the information you know, which is the r and the h. Those were both given. So the volume is one-third pi times three squared times four. Three squared is nine. One-third of nine is three times four is twelve. So the volume is 12 pi feet cubed. This time the label is cubed because it's volume. And you're done.